So we, here was the classic Saab transmission gearbox, manual, five speed. Currently it's in fifth gear. I've been running through and testing these gears before I put the cover back on with the anaerobic gasket maker. I thought it was the Loctite product, but it turns out what I have is Permatex from Napa. They don't necessarily have this at some of the other parts stores. I had to go to Napa to get this. I don't know. Check your local area. Here is the inner workings. You can see the selector shaft moving freely with the springs like it should. Here we have the first and second gear first and second and then back into third and fourth and fifth and out of fifth and in the reverse which pushes that gear over to engage the reverse Seems like it works really well. I'm going to go ahead and put it together and we're going to mate it to this engine over here, which is all ready to go. A little bit of fuel line work to do, a couple other odds and ends, but it's ready to go. And the Saab, which has a new windshield, will be receiving some body work and attention to the painting. I have CRX I'm working on. It needs some body work. I'm going to be doing some of these repairs as well as the front bumper of it this weekend. And uh, we will hopefully be getting this show on the road here with all of these cars functioning they should. I still obviously have to put the cabin back together here, which has been taken apart and cleaned. There's a little bit of welding repair on the inside. I did mess around with the welder. I know it's not a beautiful weld. It's my first real welding experience, so I was just on a learner's curve here, but I managed to use an area that's not going to be seen to practice. The intention is to get that the best I can as far as not going to come apart and then fill up foam for sound dampening purposes. On the rear wheels, here we have some of the Toyota truck parts <clears throat> that I will be working with as well this weekend. But back to the transmission, which is really what this video is about. I'm about to put the cover on, so once I do that, I can do the same with this rear differential cover. It needs to be gasketed on with the Permatex. And the front has already been done, or I would show you the primaries. Here's the shaft. clutch parts, gasket, so I think I'm ready to do this.